Hello my dear kids, welcome back to the knowledge series by Amit Publishing House. My name is Vandana and we are doing science class 7. Children, this is your science book, Science Horizon, Inspiring Tomorrow's Innovators. So children, let's start a new chapter today. This is chapter number 12 of the book and the name of the chapter is Forest, Our Lifeline. So children, in this chapter we are going to learn about forest, food chain, importance of forest, deforestation, dependence of plants uh, and animals on plants, plants on animals and interdependence of plants and animals, conservation of forests. The, for the word forest has been derived from the Latin word forest which means out of doors. So forest एक Latin word से लिया गया है जो word है forest जिसका मतलब है out of doors. Forests are under cultivated areas of land which have naturally grown plants, trees, herbs, shrubs, animals and microorganisms. So ये जो forest है इसमें जो area है वो under cal uncultivated होता है means यहाँ पे खेती वगैरह नहीं होती है जहाँ पे naturally grown plants होते हैं trees होते हैं herbs होते हैं animals होते हैं और microorganisms होते हैं so they are different from park and crop fields in the respect that they are not cultivated by human being. So ye park or crop fields se kaafi zata alag hote Forests have a rich wealth of flora and fauna. So forests mein jo flora and fauna hai kaafi zata amount ho hota hai. They are the natural habitat of many organisms. Bohut sar jo organisms hai inka ye natural habitat hai means ghar hai. Forests may be of different Types depending upon the climatic conditions, temperature and rainfall of the particular part. So, kisi bhi jaga ke climate, temperature or rainfall ko dekhte hoi us jaga ke forest, uske according hi ho sakte hai. There may be conferous forests in the cold regions or temperate forests in the temperate regions and rainforests in the tropical areas. Let's discuss more about them. Forests cover about 30% of the world's total land area. So, world ka total land area is 30% forest ne cover kar rakha hai. In India, about 19.4% of land is covered with forest. Forest. Forests have a very uh, a variety of trees like shisham, neem, banyan, sal, tilk, bamboo, mahogany, baboon, kachnar, etc. So, forest mein ye different different types of uh, trees aapko dekhne ko mil sakte hai. Besides trees, herbs, shrubs, climbers and creepers also present in abundance. So in trees ke alawa hi bohat sari cheeze hai jo hume forest mein usually mil sakte hai. Animals like monkeys, elephant, bear, bear, bear tiger, leopard, lions, jackals etc are found in the forest. Which animals bhi likhe hua hai, ye bhi milte hai hume. Birds, insects and various microorganisms are also significant part of forest. So, ye sab bhi jo hai, forest ka ek bhoat is significant part hai. Thus, a great diversity of life forms is seen in forest. So, ye jo life form hai, uski kaafi saari varieties aapko yaha pe forest mein dekhne ko mil sakti hai. Some forests are so thick that the branches of the tall trees make a roof like covering over the plant and does not allow any sunlight to come to the ground. So, kuch forests jo te hain, wo thik hote hain, unke branches jo hai thik hote hain, aur tall hote hain, ye jo hai, roof ki taraf work karte hain, roof ki taraf jo hai, poore plants aur animals sab ko cover kar dete hain, aur suraj ki roshni ko ground tak nahi pochne dete hain. So, aise trees ko hum canopy kehte hain, and the branchy part above the trunk is called the crown of the tree. और जो ब्रांचेस से भरा हुआ पार्ट होता है ट्रंक के ऊपर उसे हम क्राउन कहते हैं ट्रीज का ये यू कैन सी सम क्राउन्स ऑफ ट्रीज हैव डिफरेंट शेप्स सो ये जो क्राउन आपको ग्रीन क्राउन दिख रहा है ये आप देखोगे हर ट्री का एक दूसरे से डिफरेंट है द अदर प्लांट्स ग्रोइंग बिलो द क्राउन आर द डिफरेंट आर ऑफ डिफरेंट हाइट्स और जो दूसरे प्लांट्स ग्रो करते हैं इन क्राउन्स के नीचे वो अलग-अलग हाइट्स के हैं हेंस दे मेक डिफरेंट हॉरिजॉन्टल लेयर्स called understory. तो ये जो है अलग-अलग horizontal layers को बनाते हैं जिसे understory कहते हैं. Herbs are the small part that form the lowest layer of understory. तो ये जो herbs हैं वो सबसे छोटे part होते हैं, सबसे small plants होते हैं, 
is under story A. So here you can see the canopies are here. Here are the understories. Canopy and understory in a forest. The forest floor is covered with fallen leaves. The forest ka floor hai wo fallen leaves means gire hai patto se dhaka hua hota hai. Twigs, fruits, seeds, dead and decaying organic matters. So ye sari chizhe aapko forest ke floor pe gire hui dikhengi. Many insects and microorganisms grow in this matter. Or in sab chizho ke andar hi kuch insect hai or microorganisms jo hai grow karte hai. Microorganisms like algae, fungi and bacteria obtain their food from this matter and converts it into a dark colored substance called humus. So, this algae fungi hai, ye is food ko khati hai aur usse ek dark color ki substance mein convert kar de, jise humus kehati hai. Such microorganisms are called decomposers. Or I, aise microorganisms ko hum decomposers bhi kehati hai. Decomposers make the soil rich in nutrients. ये क्या करते हैं soil को nutrients में rich कर देते हैं means भर देते हैं nutrients से. Heat is evolved in this process और इस process में heat निकलता है, evolve करता है. Importance of forest. Forest क्यों जरूरी है हमारे लिए? Forests are very important natural resources. They are very important for us to contribute to the positive in a positive way for so many aspects of life and livelihood directly or indirectly. So, forests are very important for us to contribute to our life and livelihood, whether you are directly or indirectly. The things for which we need to depend on forests are Water, food, water, 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 and all of them come directly or indirectly from plants or and forest. So, ये सारी चीजें जो हैं forest से ही आती हैं, plants से ही आती हैं, चाहे वो directly हैं, चाहे indirectly हैं. These include vegetables, fruits, spices, beverages like tea and coffee. और इनमें ये सारी चीजें included होती हैं. Next is fodder. Beside plant produce, animal produce like milk, curd, cheese, ghee, meat and egg. Are the major parts of the food. So uh, plant products we eat. Besides, some animal products we eat. They give us the animals. Deete hain, and animals also get their food from plants. So now these animals are giving us the products. So in addition, animals also need something. So animals, which are plants, eat and uh, it is their food. Now the next thing that we get from forest is Fuel, fuel milta hai mein. In rural areas, wood is used as a source of fuel for cooking and other household work. So, ghar ke kaamon ke liye, ya cooking ke liye, log kya karte hain, wood ko ikattha karte hain, forest mein ja ke, aur usse hi apne ghar mein fuel ke tarah use karte hain. This wood is uh, for fuel, is also provided by forest. So, ye jab wood hai, fuel ke liye bhi forest ki hume deta hai. Next is timber. For nature, almira, door and window are so many things. And so many things are made of teak. So, these are all the things from teak, shisam, shal, wood and these woods are obtained from the forest. And these are all the woods that we give. Medicines. A diverse range of herbs from the forest has important medicinal value. So, in the forest, we get a lot of medicinal plants, herbs, and the names are chinchona, amla, babul, aloe vera, etc. Are some common plants that are used in our day-to-day -day life to treat various kind of ailments. Besides them, every pathi, like allopathy, ayurvedic and yunani, use various parts and extracts of different plants to prepare medicine. So, these are all the different pathies, whether it is allopathy, ayurvedic, so, you know, these are all the plant products that we use and make medicine. Banate Other useful products. Besides these important things, some more things like paper, gum, resin, rubber, oil, dye and perfumes have their origin in forest. So, in all these things, these are the things that we use in the forest. And in the forest, we get 
Here you can see the aloe vera plant and the rubber plant is here. More than 5,000 things are made from trees. Trees say, we have 5,000 things that we have made from trees. Prevention of soil erosion. The top soil of the soil um, is the most fertile layer of the soil. So, soil ka jo sabse zyada fertile part hai, wo top soil hai. But due to heavy rains and wind, this top soil is carried away. So, heavy rain or wind ki wajay se, jo top soil hai, wo chala ya ka. This is called soil erosion. Isa hi soil erosion ke hai. The roots of plants function to bind the soil particles and thus prevent soil erosion. So, these roots of plants are what do they do? They keep the soil and save the soil erosion. Dense forests also prevent raindrops from falling directly on the soil with full force. Now, these dense forests, what do they do? The forest is falling in the forest. They fall in the direct mitti, they fall in the forest. They fall in the forest. These dense forests are falling in the forest. They fall in the forest directly to the forest. This flowing away the soil is prevented. और इसके वजह से जो soil है उस जगह से बहने से बच जाता है. Maintains natural balance of gases. Oxygen is life gas. It is required by all living organisms to breathe and thus to survive. So आपको पता होगा कि oxygen बहुत ज़्यादा important है और हर किसी को हर एक living organism को ये चाहिए survive करने के लिए. Most of the oxygen air of the universe comes from the process of photosynthesis by plants. और जहाँ तक जो oxygen है वो photosynthesis से ही आता है और ये plants देते हैं हमें. In fact, forests are called green lungs of the earth. तो इसलिए जो है forest को earth का green lung भी कहा जाता है. Secondly, all the organisms give out carbon dioxide during respiration. So जो भी living organisms हैं वो जब भी respiration करते हैं तो वो carbon dioxide को बाहर निकालते हैं. This is the greenhouse gas and increase the temperature of the earth. And this greenhouse gas is the temperature of the earth. Thus leading to global warming. This is global warming. Forests absorb this carbon dioxide during the process of photosynthesis. A forest does it? It carbon dioxide when it carries photosynthesis. Thus this helps to clean the atmosphere. And this is the atmosphere of the atmosphere. Here it is, you can see the uh, diagram is given here, flow chart is given. Animals, respiration, burning of fuels. Carbon dioxide nikal rahe, a photosynthesis by plant and trees are forest. Ye isi carbon dioxide ko le rahe aur oxygen ko release kar rahe. Hence, balance between oxygen and carbon dioxide is maintained by forest. So, ye jo balance hai oxygen and carbon dioxide ko ye forest hi maintain kar rahe. In the lifespan of 50 years, a tree exudes about 6,000 pounds of oxygen. So, a tree जो है 6,000 pounds जो है oxygen release कर देता है. Flood control. Floods take place due to the heavy flow of water. So, बहुत तेज एकदम जो है पानी बहने लगता है तो क्या होता है? Flood आ जाता है. But rain water seeps into the soil of forest through the root system of trees. लेकिन जो rain water है, ये soil के अंदर चला जाता है और root के जो रूट सिस्टम है ट्रीज के उसके द्वारा एंड फॉरेस्ट एक्ट एस अब्जॉर्बर्स ऑफ रेन वाटर और फॉरेस्ट क्या करते हैं रेन वाटर को अब्जॉर्ब कर लेते हैं दस मच वाटर इस अब्जॉर्ब बाय द सोइल एंड फ्लोस ऑफ वाटर इस रिड्यूस सो ज्यादातर पानी जो है अब्जॉर्ब हो जाता है और जो वाटर का जो फ्लो है व and water table is also maintained. इस तरीके से food को control किया, flood को control किया जा सकता है और water table को भी manage या फिर maintain किया जा सकता है. Regulation of water cycle. Water is absorbed by trees from soil and excess water is evaporated through leaves or trees in the form of water vapors. So water को absorb किया जाता है, जो trees हैं ये absorb कर लेते हैं soil से. और जो ज़्यादातर पानी होता है वो evaporate हो जाता है leaves से in the form of water vapors. The water vapors condense to form water droplets. और ये water vapors क्या होते हैं? Water droplets बन जाते हैं that come down as rain. जो rain की तरीके से वापस आ जाते हैं. This water cycle is maintained by trees. तो ये trees क्या करते हैं? Water cycle को maintain करने में भी help करते हैं. Shelter for various life forms. 
सो वाइड रेंज ऑफ लाइफ फॉर्म्स इज फाउंड इन फॉरेस्ट फॉरेस्ट में काफी ज्यादा लाइफ जो है हम देख सकते हैं सो मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ एनिमल्स इंसेक्ट एंड माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम एंड अवास वेराइटी ऑफ प्लांट्स गेट इट शेल्टर इन फॉरेस्ट सो कई सारे जो एनिमल्स हैं इंसेक्ट हैं माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम हैं और काफी सारे जो प्लांट्स हैं वो अपना शेल्टर उन्हें फॉरेस्ट में ही मिलता है वो यहाँ अपना घर बना के रखते हैं डिपेंडेंस ऑफ प्लांट्स ऑन एनिमल्स सो प्लांट्स एनिमल पे कैसे डिपेंडेंट है नॉट ओनली एनिमल डिपेंडेंट ऑन प्लांट टू फुलफिल द नीड्स बट प्लांट ऑल्सो डिपेंड ऑन एनिमल फॉर वेरियस पर्पज सिर्फ एनिमल ही प्लांट पे डिपेंडेंट नहीं है प्लांट्स को भी जो है एनिमल पे डिपेंड है कैसे फॉर कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड प्लांट्स नीड कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड टू प्रिपेयर द फूड एंड दिस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज रिलीज बाय एनिमल्स ड्यूरिंग रेस्पिरेशन सो प्लांट्स को फूड बनाने के लिए कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड चाहिए और वो कौन देता है एनिमल्स देते हैं फॉर पॉलिनेशन पॉलिनेशन के लिए भी एनिमल्स की जरूरत होती है प्लांट्स को प्लांट्स लाइक प्लांट्स नीड बर्ड्स लाइक हमिंग बर्ड इंसेक्ट एंड हनी बीज एंड बटरफ्लाईज फॉर पॉलिनेशन When these insects sit on the flowers to collect the nectar, the pollen grains stick to their legs and bodies. So, जब भी insect इन flowers पे बैठते हैं nectar को उसके पीने के लिए, तो इनके पैरों में या इनकी body पे जो pollen grains हैं वो चिपक जाते हैं. When they again sit on another flower, they leave the pollen grains on its stigma. और जब भी दूसरे flower पे बैठते हैं, जो pollen grains इनकी body में लगे रहते हैं, वो उसके stigma पे वो चिपक जाते हैं. वहां पे छोड़ देते हैं दस दे एट इन पॉलिनेशन ऑफ प्लास्ट और इसकी वजह से जो प्लास्ट का पॉलिनेशन है वो पॉसिबल हो पाता है फॉर डिस्पोजल ऑफ फ्रूट्स एंड सीड्स फ्रूट्स और सीड्स को डिस्पर्स करने के लिए भी प्लांट्स को किसकी जरूरत है एनिमल्स की भी जरूरत है इफ राइट फ्रूट्स एंड सीड फॉल जस्ट बिलो द ट्री दे ग्रो ऑन अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ प्लांट्स विल रिड्यूस बिलो द पेरेंट ट्री एंड देयर विल बी नॉट बी इनफ स्पेस एंड फूड फॉर एवरी प्लांट सो जब कोई पका हुआ फल पेड़ से गिर जाए पेरेंट प्लांट से गिर के जमीन पे पड़ जाए और सारे फल अगर उसी एक पर्टिकुलर जगह पे गिरेंगे तो उसकी जो सीड्स हैं उसी एक एरिया में जर्मिनेट होने लगेंगे ग्रो करने लगेंगे तो क्या होगा हर सीड को प्रॉपर स्पेस नहीं मिल पाएगी ग्रो करने के लिए तो इस केस में क्या होता है टू ओवरकम दिस प्रॉब्लम इस प्रॉब्लम से बचने के लिए फ्रूट्स एंड सीड्स और प्लांट्स आर कैरिड अवे टू डिफरेंट प्लेसेज बाई बर्ड्स एंड एनिमल्स तो ये जो फ्रूट्स हैं या जो सीड्स हैं ये एनिमल्स अपने साथ दूसरी दूसरी जगहों पे ले जाते हैं वहां रखे गिरा देते हैं एंड इन दिस वे द डिस्पर्सन डिस्पर्स अवे और इस तरीके से डिस्पर्स जो है सीड्स जो डिस्पर्स हो जाते हैं फॉर न्यूट्रिएंट्स प्लांट्स अब्जॉर्व वेरियस न्यूट्रिएंट्स एंड मिनरल्स फ्रॉम सॉइल प्लांट्स क्या करते हैं अलग अलग तरीके के न्यूट्रिएंट्स और मिनरल्स को सॉइल से अब्जॉर्व करते हैं excretory matter of animals get mixed with soil. जो excretory matter होता है animals का वो soil के साथ मिल जाता है और nutrition देता है उसे Further dead animals are also decomposed by microorganisms and decomposition. On decomposition they add organic matter to soil. So ये जो dead animals होते हैं ये decompose हो जाते हैं microorganisms इन्हें decompose कर देते हैं जिसके बाद ये soil से mix हो के क्या बन जाते हैं organic matter बन जाते हैं This increases fertility of the soil. जिसकी वजह से soil की fertility increase हो जाती है और plants ज़्यादा plants grow कर सकते हैं. Interdependence of plants and animals. हम दोनों एक दूसरे पे interdependent है, equally dependent है. Plants and animals both depend on each other to fulfill their needs. दोनों एक दूसरे पे dependent है अपनी needs को fulfill करने के लिए. Both benefit each other in one way or the other. दोनों एक दूसरे को benefit पहुँचाते हैं. Even microorganisms are the part of this system. इस part, इस system के जो part हैं, वो microorganisms भी होते हैं. They are all connected to each other in the manner of chain, which is called food chain. ये सब एक दूसरे पे interdependent हैं, अगर हम food chain को देखें. What is food chain? A chain-like system in which organisms are interconnected to each other in such a way that each organism eats the other organism. And is being eaten up by another one. So food chain क्या है? एक organism को दूसरा खा रहा है, दूसरे को तीसरा खा रहा है. इसी को ही food chain कहते हैं. Components of food chain are as follows. क्या-क्या components हैं food chain के? Sun. Sun is the 
अल्टीमेट सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी जैसे सबको पता है सन जो है एक अल्टीमेट सोर्स है एनर्जी का इट प्रोवाइड्स एनर्जी टू ऑल द थिंग्स प्रेजेंट ऑन द प्लानट जो भी चीजें हैं प्लानट पे सबको ये एनर्जी पहुंचाता है प्रोड्यूसर्स प्लांट्स आर प्रोड्यूसर्स ऑफ फूड एज ग्रीन प्लांट प्रोड्यूस फूड बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस सो प्लांट्स प्रोड्यूसर हैं क्योंकि जो ग्रीन प्लांट्स हैं फोटोसिंथेसिस से फूड को प्रोड्यूस करते हैं एंड ट्रैप द एनर्जी ऑफ सन और सन की लाइट को एनर्जी के फॉर्म में जो है ये ट्रैप कर लेते हैं दे आर कॉल्ड ऑटोट्रॉप्स इन्हें ऑटोट्रॉप्स भी कहते हैं वेन एनिमल्स ईट देम जब एनिमल्स इन ऑटोट्रॉप्स को खाते हैं दे एनर्जी ट्रांसफर टू देम जो प्लांट के अंदर एनर्जी थी वो अब एनिमल के अंदर चली गई नेक्स्ट इज कंज्यूमर्स कंज्यूमर्स आर हाविवरस कार्निवरस एंड ऑमनिवरस दीज आर थ्री लेवल्स ऑफ कंज्यूमर्स ये तीन लेवल हैं कंज्यूमर्स के एंड कंज्यूमर्स ऑफ ईच लेवल ईट द कंज्यूमर ऑफ लोअर लेवल हर लेवल का कंज्यूमर जो है उससे लोअर लेवल के कंज्यूमर को खा जाता है दीज थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ कंज्यूमर्स आर प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर्स सेकेंडरी कंज्यूमर्स एंड द टर्सरी कंज्यूमर्स दे आर हाविवरस that consume the most primitive level of food the food chain that are producers so ye herbivores kya karte hain ye producers ko aate hain and the herbivores are deer grasshopper cow etc are the primary consumers energy of plant get transported to them so jo bhi plants ki energy hai wo inke andar transport ho jati hai in herbivores mein transport ho jati hai next is secondary consumer all the carnivorous animals are included in this category so jitne bhi carnivorous animals hai sab is category mein aate hain carnivorous animals like rat frog etc are the secondary consumers thus energy of herbivores is transferred to carnivores so jo bhi energy hoti hai herbivores ki unhe ye carnivores kha lete hain aur wo energy inme transfer ho jati hai next is tertiary consumers and even big carnivores or omnivores fall in this category for example rat is secondary consumer and is further eaten by snake so rat ko ab snake ne kha liya jo tertiary consumer hai and snake by an eagle snake ko eagle ne kha liya jo fourth type of quaternary consumer hai in this manner the energy of plant reaches bigger animals ab jo ye energy plant ki thi wo pehle herbivores mein gayi फिर कार्डनी वर्ड्स में गई फिर ओमनी वर्ड्स में गई और उसके बाद जो फोर्थ और फिफ्थ कैटेगरी कंज्यूमर की उन सब की बॉडी में वो ट्रांसफर होती चली गई नेक्स्ट इज दी कंपोजर्स दिस इज द लास्ट लेवल ऑफ कंप्लीशन ऑफ द साइकिल टू फ्लो द एनर्जी एनर्जी के फ्लो में ये लास्ट है एंड दिस कंप्लीट्स द साइकिल माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स लाइक वायरसेस बैक्टीरिया algae here you can see grass herbivore then uh, sorry producer then grasshopper herbivore frog eats the grasshopper frog is a carnivore snake eats the frog large carnivore and the eagle eats the snake and it is a top carnivore so in this way the energy from the grass is transport to the eagles this is the food chain and and the fungi are called decomposers so jo bhi bacteria hote hain wo sab decomposers hote hain as they decompose the body of dead organisms so jo bhi dead organisms hain inki body ko ye khatam kar dete hain decompose kar dete hain this helps not only to mix the nutrients of the soil ye jo hai na to sirf soil ke nutrient ko badhata hai but also cleans up our environment hamare environment ko bhi clean karta hai by destroying the dead organisms in dead organisms ko khatam karta hai the nutrients added to soil by decomposers are again taken up by plants and thus the cycle continues in nature so ye jo nutrient hai jo soil mein add hota hai decomposers ke dwara ye jo hai fir se plants se use kar lete hain is nutrient ko aur ye fir se cycle start ho jata hai this decomposers help us to recycle the nutrients in the nature so is tarike se jo decomposers hain help karte hain hame jo bhi nutrients hain soil mein use recycle karne mein food web 
In nature, many food chains get interlinked together because one animal eats another animal and the same level of other uh, food chain and is also being eaten by animals of the other food chain. So, nature may ek jahe dusre ko khata hai aur ye sab kuch aapas mein linked hai aur dusre level ka animal us pehle ko kha leta hai. So, this is food web. For example, in the given, in the above example, grass is eaten by other animal. Also beside the grasshopper. So grasshopper is grass not eating. Dusra is category of animal is grass eating. Similarly, grasshopper is eaten by birds. Also beside the rat. So grasshopper is not eating rat here, but birds are eating. So many food chains get interlinked. Many food food chains are connected in this way. And uh, forms a web like structure called food web. Or ye web like structure banata hai. Asa nahi ki ek chiz ko ek, ek hi particular habitat hi khara hai. Koi bhi khara sakta hai. Ab ye saare food chain aapas mein link ho gai. Ise hi hum food web kehte hai. Importance of food chain. Kyo zaruri hai food chain? Have you ever thought? Why nature has made such a system that every organism is food of some other organisms? And it... Self eats some other organism. You think that you have never thought about it. Why did nature make it like this? Why did it make it like this? Why did it make it like this? This is the way, the uh, way of nature to maintain balance. Balance to make it like this. Between the number of different organisms on the earth. For example, if lion did not eat deer. If lion did not eat deer, the number of deers on the earth will increase. The deer ki jo number hai, will increase. Ho jayenge, These deers will consume more and more plants. Now, what will they do? They will eat more plants. Ko aane Thus, the number of producers will decrease rapidly. And after that, the number of producers hai, wo de -de kam ho This will affect the number of other herbivores. And this will affect the number of other herbivores. And this will affect the number of other herbivores. As they will be, there will be shortage of food for them. So, for them, food will be shortage. Rahi. Thus, food chain helps to maintain a balance in nature. This is the food chain that maintains a balance in nature. Mein. Such that neither organisms get, grows very rapidly, or neither, nor it decreases. So, uh, nature has a snake. Uh, food chain ko maintain karke ek balance bana rakha hai ki koi bhi organism zyada na ho aur koi bhi kam na ho. What is deforestation? Forests are very useful for us. They provide us with many things. But human being exploit this wealth of forests so brutally that the nature of forest is constantly reducing. So forests hume bohaut sari chise dete hain jo abhi humne padhi. Lekin human beings kya karte hain? In forest ko exploit karte hain. Or this ke wale se forest jadir jadir kam ho raha hai. Forests are being cut down on a large scale for obtaining wood. These are also cut down to avail the land for construction of building. So forest ko cut kiya jata hai. Uh, wood ke liye or construction of buildings ke liye. Isse hi deforestation kya hai. In less than 100 years, over half of the total world's Forests have been cut down and gone. So, abhi jahe, so saal se kam kai time hua hai. Haad se jada forests hum kaat chuke hai aur jala chuke hai. Over 50 million acres of tropical rainforests are being destroyed every year. Her saal 50 million acres jahe forests ko hum khatam kar rahe hai. Deforestation has affected our natural balance. Very bad. So, humara jo natural balance also deforestation ne kaafi kharaab kar rakha hai. Environmental pollution and global warming are increasing at very rapid rate. So, this environmental pollution and global warming is increasing a lot. How can we conserve the forest? We need to conserve our forest if we want to save our planet. If we want to save our planet, we need to save our forest. And we can do this by afforestation. Afforestation means planting of Trees on a large scale. Kaafi zyada matra mein trees ko grow karna. We should encourage people to plant more and more trees to replenish the loss made by deforestation. So deforestation se jo bhi loss hua hai, usko overcome karne ke liye hume chahiye ki hum zyada zyada plant ko grow kare. Nowadays efforts are being made globally 
to make people aware of the needs of the plantation of trees various uh, through various campaigns and programs so alag alag campaigns and programs ke through logo ko is baat ka realization karaya ja raha hai ki trees are how important for us protecting from overgrazing overgrazing se bachana ab aap dekh sakte ho ek field mein kitni sari cow hai aur sab jo hai sara grass kha ja rahe to kya ho isse bhi overgrazing isse ko hi kehte hain means ek area ka jo bhi grass hai wo sara ek sath khatam ho gaya hai cattle goats sheep etc graze in grassland as well as in forests ye kya karte hain grassland aur forests mein jaate hain aur grass ko graze kar lete hain if too many animals graze in a small area of land the grass and herbs of that area slowly get spilled bahut sare animals ek sath ek hi jagah pe khayenge to kya hoga sara grass khatam ho jayega this affects the green cover of land iski wajah se jo land ka jo green cover hai wo effect on the first one this is called overgrazing and these animals not only eat grass but also the young and the useful plants ye animals grass hi nahi khate ye kya khate hain jo useful young plants hai unhe bhi khaya jata hai so there must be protection from overgrazing overgrazing se hame bachana chahiye now the fourth is protection from forest fire फॉरेस्ट फायर प्ले एन क्रूशल रेव इन डिस्ट्रॉइंग लार्ज फॉरेस्ट एरिया अब अगर फॉरेस्ट में कहीं आग लग जाए तो क्या होगा काफी सारा फॉरेस्ट एरिया डिस्ट्रॉय हो जाएगा और मे बी ड्यू टू दस अब ये जो फॉरेस्ट फायर है ये कैसे हो सकता है ये कोई भी रीजन हो सकता है कोई नेचुरल रीजन भी हो सकता है कोई ह्यूमन मेड रीजन भी हो सकता है नेचुरल रीजन क्या है जैसे कि लाइटनिंग है या थंडर स्टॉम है इससे जो है आग पकड़ सकती है फॉरेस्ट में दूसरा है ह्यूमन मेड वो क्या है केयरलेसनेस ऑफ ह्यूमन बीइंग अब ह्यूमन बीइंग ने कहीं पे आग जलाई और फिर उसे जो है बिरा बुझाए पूरी तरह से छोड़ दिया तो क्या होगा धीरे आग पकड़ लेगी दीज फायर्स में भी कंट्रोल क्विकली विद द हेल्प ऑफ एक्सटिंगशर तो so, कहीं भी अगर आप ऐसी जगह पर आग जलाओ तो प्लीज उसे एक्सटिंगशर से बुझाए उसके बाद ही उस प्लेस को लीव करें next is selecting harvesting uh, selective harvesting means cutting of trees wisely and selectively so trees ko wisely correct kare uh, cut kare aur select karke hi cut kare only those trees should be cut down which are required for getting wood sirf usi uh, tree ko cut kare jiski zarurat hai wood ke liye others should not be harmed dusre ko nuksan nahi pahunchana chahiye dear children you have to match these and you have to do this by yourself now let's recall what we have learned forests are large natural green areas that are not cultivated by man tall branches of trees make a roof called canopy over the forest the branch position of trees after the trunk above the trunk is called crown smaller plants form lower uh, layer of forest that are called understory and forests are very useful for us as they provide food fodder shelter timber food fuel medicine and many more substances forest also prevents soil erosion regulates water cycle and controls plant in nature every organism except plants eat up other organisms and it's useful uh, and it is and it's a written by some other organisms this is called food chain plants also depend on animals for carbon dioxide pollination dispersal of seeds and nutrients microorganisms decompose dead organisms and release nutrients in soil again cutting down of forest on a large scale is called deforestation we should conserve forests by afforestation preventing overgrazing and fire and by selective cutting down of trees now let's answer these questions which type of plants form the lowest layer of the understood so find out and write it here what makes the roof of forest what is called green lungs of the earth so trees are called the green lungs of the earth name the level of food chain so what are the levels that you have to write what name is given to the interconnected food chains so ek sath jo food chain connect rahe unhe hum kya kehte hain it is called food web how do uh, forest prevent soil erosion forest soil erosion ko kaise prevent karte hain what is food chain give us an example 
which organism serves to clean the earth of dead materials so microorganisms help karte hain to clean the dead materials from the earth how are plants dependent on animals and how are plants prevented by trees so children answer these questions on your own i hope that you have understood the chapter very well and uh, children i'll be meeting you soon with a new video till then stay lit